Hello and welcome to Cupcake Addiction's Rainbow Cake Pop Ball Tutorial where I'll be showing you how to make this fun, bright and very effective rainbow cake pop ball. Rainbow layer cake and rainbow cupcakes are all the rage at the moment. So for me that equates to rainbow cake pops. Everything seems to be getting turned into cake pops these days. So I thought why not a rainbow cake pop ball. I've made a batch of our basic cake pop mix. The recipe and tutorial that I do have online on our channel is a chocolate mix. I've simply translated those exact measurements into a vanilla mix. So I've used vanilla cakes, vanilla buttercream, and then I've taken that vanilla mix, vanilla cake pop mix, and I've spurned it into five separate containers. I've used a little bit of food coloring in five different colors that I like, just to color that up to make five different pots of five different colors of cake pop ball mix. So let's get started. What I'm going to do, I've actually prepared some balls earlier because there is quite a lot of freezing in this tutorial. It's quite a long tutorial, so I will try to get through it as quickly as I can. We're going to start by rolling a small marble sized ball of the darkest color that you have. So for me, that's blue. I'm just gonna pull up a little bit of the cake pop mix, roll it between my hands to make a lovely little marble. Now I'm going to let that sit in the freezer for about five minutes until it's hard. This one here that I've got is already frozen. So to add to that, I'm going to take a slightly bigger amount of the next color. I'm going to go with green and I'm going to roll it into a ball. Then I'm going to flatten it out in the palm of my hand. Take my frozen dark blue marble sized piece and you can see there, I'm just folding it over to cover that blue and then I'm gonna roll it into another ball. That is now gonna get placed into the freezer for another five minutes before we move on to our next color. Here I have my green ball that's been frozen for five minutes. So we're going to do the same again with our next color. I'm gonna go with yellow. We're gonna take just a little bit more. It's quite messy this job, so be prepared to get dirty. All right, so I take my yellow mix and I take my frozen green ball and I'm just gonna do the same again. So I'm just going to pat that all the way around. Don't worry if some of the underneath color does show through. You're not gonna notice that at the end result of the cake pop ball. So there's our yellow coat. Don't be tempted to put too much of any color on because you don't want these cake pop balls to get out of control big. You wanna try and keep them about the same size as a normal cake pop ball. So I'm taking my frozen yellow ball. I'm taking some of my orange. Probably getting a little bit more of the mix now just because we're getting a bigger ball that we've got to cover. So once again, we roll that orange ball, flatten it out, take our frozen yellow, and over goes that orange, pressing it around, all the way around, covering as much of that yellow as we can, and then rolling it into a lovely round ball. All right, the last color that I'm going to go with is going to be the red. So I'm going to take my frozen orange ball. You can see why I prepared these balls earlier. I would be waiting all night for the, the freezer to freeze them for five minutes in between. So I'm gonna take some of that red, roll the ball, flatten it out again, take my frozen orange ball and cover it over. These are probably the longest cake pop balls that you can make, the ones that take the longest, but they are certainly the most effective. They're sure to get a shock of awe when somebody bites into them and realizes what's inside. All right, so there I have my rainbow cake pop ball. I'm going to take one of my lollipop sticks and I'm going to take some melted white chocolate or some white candy melts, depending on where you are. Now I've taken about 300 grams of that white chocolate or white candy melts, and I've added about 25 grams of Kofa or Crisco vegetable shortening to that, just to stop it from cracking up so easily when people bite into it. It'll give it a bit of a softer crunch, and it will also stop it from cracking as the cake pot ball comes back to room temperature inside because it will be quite cold. 
So I'm going to take that cake pop ball. I should also mention that I did allow all of those balls to sit in the freezer, but my red ball, I've popped it in the fridge, then I've bought the, the finished ball out of the fridge and let it sit at room temperature for five minutes, just so that it's not quite as cold. Now I'm going to use the flat bottom of the cake pop and I'm going to take my lollipop stick. I'm just going to insert that into the flat bottom of the cake pop and that's going to go into the fridge now for another five minutes just to let that chocolate set and harden. Okay, so it's been five minutes and I'm convinced that my cake pop ball is set and my little, um, my little chocolate seal there has been set. So I'm going to dip the cake pop as per all my other cake pop demonstrations, basically I've got my chocolate mixture. I've put it in a nice deep container so that I can get my ball right to the bottom of it. So I'm just going to dunk the ball, make sure that I meet the chocolate up with that lovely seal so that it meets all the way up with the stick. Beautiful. So there we have our lovely rainbow cake pop. And once that's bitten into, that's what your guests are going to see. Lovely. Thanks very much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please do remember to subscribe to our channel if you're enjoying these tutorials. We do upload new ones all the time. And we love to show you guys what's new in the worlds of cakes, cupcakes and cake decorating. Thanks for watching.